We are once again at that moment where SpaceX is ready to launch another Starship, but there are too many uncertainties. This time, it's Flight 8, and while the rocket is progressing well, there's one major obstacle standing in the way, the FAA. No matter how ready SpaceX is, without an FAA launch license, the rocket cannot leave the ground. In today's video, we'll discuss whether SpaceX will be able to launch Starship this month as planned, or if delays are inevitable. What are the chances of a February launch? How long will the FAA's approval take? And what's the latest on SpaceX's preparations? We'll break it all down. But before we dive any deeper, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates on Starship and SpaceX's other groundbreaking achievements. Let's get started. The anticipation for Flight 8 has been high, especially after Flight 7's successes and challenges. Many expected a February launch based on past timelines, considering how SpaceX has been improving its turnaround time. Flight 7 launched on November 16, 2023, and since the time gap between previous launches had been shrinking, many assumed Flight 8 would follow a similar pattern. During the early days of the Starship orbital test program, the time between launches was significantly longer. The first full-stack Starship launch, Flight 1, took place on April 20, 2023. However, it took nearly seven months before Flight 2 launched on November 18, 2023. The delay was largely due to the FAA's investigation into Flight 1's explosion and the environmental impact concerns raised by regulatory bodies. SpaceX had to make major modifications to the launch site, including adding a water-cooled steel plate under the launch mount to prevent excessive damage from the Super Heavy booster's powerful engines. After Flight 2, the approval process sped up slightly. Flight 3 launched on March 14, 2024, reducing the gap to four months. Then Flight 4 followed just two months later on May 16, 2024. The gap continued shrinking with Flight 5 launching on June 27, 2024, 2024, only about six weeks later. Flight 6 followed quickly on August 6, 2024, maintaining a rapid launch cadence. The shortest gap so far has been between Flight 5 and Flight 6, which was just 40 days. Flight 7 then launched on November 16, 2024, with a slightly longer gap of 102 days due to additional regulatory reviews and technical adjustments. One of the main reasons the time between launches has decreased is that space companies, including SpaceX, have put increasing pressure on the FAA to speed up the licensing process. Initially, after Flight 1, the FAA took months to investigate and approve another launch, citing the need for environmental impact studies and safety assessments. SpaceX, along with other private spaceflight companies, argued that these delays were unnecessary and that the regulatory framework needed to be streamlined. Congress also got involved, particularly as competition with China's rapidly growing space program became a concern. In response, the FAA has been working to reform its licensing process, aiming to make approvals more predictable and less prone to long delays. This has allowed SpaceX to reduce the time between launches significantly, bringing it from seven months between Flight 1 and Flight 2 down to as little as 40 days between later flights. Despite the uncertainty surrounding Flight 8, SpaceX has been working tirelessly to prepare for the launch. The booster and ship have gone through a series of static fire tests, and the launch system has been getting back to operational status quickly after previous flights. However, now that February is almost over, it is becoming more unlikely that Flight 8 will launch this month. There are a few reasons for the delay in Flight 8. The hardware is not yet fully ready and still requires significant work before it can be cleared for launch. Booster 15, the first stage of the rocket, arrived at Mega Bay on February 10th, where it is undergoing extensive inspections. Typically, before a booster is ready for launch, SpaceX engineers carry out a thorough evaluation of its Raptor engines, plumbing systems, and avionics. This ensures that all components are functioning properly and that there are no structural or performance issues that could lead to a failure during flight. One of the most critical tests for the booster is the hot staging test, 
where SpaceX simulates the moment when the upper stage separates while the booster is still firing. This maneuver was first introduced on Flight 3 and has since been a key feature of Starship's design, aimed at improving efficiency and reducing propellant losses. Before Booster 15 can attempt this test, its 33 Raptor engines must undergo deep inspections to ensure there are no leaks, malfunctions, or unexpected damage. SpaceX has been known to swap out engines when necessary, as even a minor issue could compromise the entire mission. If any engines need replacing, this could extend the pre-launch timeline even further. At the same time, Ship 34, which is the second stage of the rocket, returned to the production site on February 12th. Unlike the booster, which mainly needs thrust and stability, the ship has more delicate components, including the heat shield, flaps, and fuel tanks, all of which require detailed inspections. The ship recently underwent an unprecedentedly long static fire test at Massey's test site, where it fired its six Raptor engines to simulate real launch conditions. Beyond the individual components, the full-stack integration process is another step that needs to happen before launch. Once both Booster 15 and Ship 34 pass their tests, they will be transported to the launch pad, where they must undergo wet dress rehearsals. In addition to these inspections, other important components need to be installed. This includes the flight termination system, which is used to destroy the rocket in case something goes wrong during launch. The payload dispenser and simulated payloads also need to be put in place. Because all of this takes time, it is highly unlikely that both the booster and the ship will be fully ready this week. Another major reason for the delay is the FAA's licensing process. Even if SpaceX finishes preparing the rocket in time, they cannot launch without approval from the FAA. The Federal Communications Commission has already stated that Flight 8 will not launch before February 24th. But even if they gave the green light, there would only be four days left in the month, which is not enough time to complete the final preparations. More importantly, the FAA has not yet given any updates. This means their investigation into Flight 7 is still ongoing. SpaceX cannot launch again until they have identified the cause of any issues from the previous flight and made any necessary fixes. One of the biggest concerns is debris. After Flight 7, images showed that debris was scattered across a large area. The FAA will want to ensure that SpaceX has a plan to prevent this from happening again before they grant a new license. Once SpaceX submits all the necessary reports, the FAA has to review them before giving approval for Flight 8. The problem is that the FAA is known for taking a long time to process these reviews, especially now that they oversee a growing number of launches. This means the approval process could take longer than expected. If the FAA takes longer to review Flight 7's results and issue a new license, Flight 8 may slip into March. However, if the review process moves quickly, a late February launch could still be possible. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for more updates on SpaceX and Starship.